Hey everybody, I'm Ebony. This is Ebony's Creativity. Thank you so much for joining me here on the channel. Today I am going to be doing a technique that I have done here on the channel before. So if you have not seen this video, make sure you go check that out after this one. But I will link it down below just in case you missed this iCard. But anyways, I want to do this method because I have been trying to sell these nightstands for a very long time. If you remember the other video on them uh, here on the channel. And I'm just trying to get rid of them. I'm going to tone down the color and try to add in maybe a wood element. So the way that I can do that, that requires the least amount of thinking for me, is to do it with the popsicle sticks. So I'm just going to try that method here. Uh, keep it simple, but yet add a little bit more elegance and see if I could reach a broader range of people and hopefully get these sold. So if you try something and you don't succeed, try again. That's what I'm doing here, right? So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And let's hop right into the flip. Here are the pieces that we are going to be working on today. A set of matching nightstands, as you can see. If you missed the previous video on these, I got them a long time ago for very cheap and made them over when I was a new flipper and didn't do such a good job. So I did them over to look how they currently look because we were told that green was the color of the year for 2022. But these are the only pieces that I did in the color green and they did not sell. So I'm going to start by removing the handles. Next, I'm going to be removing both drawers. I'm also going to be modernizing the piece a bit more by just cutting off this squiggly part down here at the bottom. So I'm going to take my straight edge and I'm just going to map out my lines and then I will be able to use my jigsaw to cut those areas away. If you've watched any of my previous videos where I've used power tools, you know I really struggle with power tools and it may or may not come out good at any given point when you see a power tool in my hand but this time I was actually patting myself on the back. Up next I'm going in with some 220 grit sandpaper and I'm going to be giving both nightstands a good scuff sanding. If you're new to flipping or you just have the question about why I did not sand these down completely and start over, it's because I was the one who previously refinished these. So I know that the paint job is smooth, the primer is still intact, and I don't want to do more work than is necessary. So scuff sanding will just roughen up the surface and kind of eliminate the top coat layer that I previously put on. And then I'll be able to paint also, because I'm using the same paint line, I know that the paints will react well together. There will be no issues. I'm not dealing with the oil-based paint on top of a water-based paint or any kind of issues like that. So it is safe for me to just go ahead and scuff sand, wipe this down, and then go back into painting. I'm just eliminating the top layer and roughing up the surface slightly so that the new paint can adhere better. These are now all scuff sanded and you can see in some areas I did reach the primer so I went a little bit too far in those areas but that should be fine because I'm going with a darker paint. Here are the sticks that I'm going to be using. going to start off by taking two big handfuls of these and just cutting them all to a square tip. Now I'm going to find the midpoint of the dresser. Next I went in with some wood glue. I'm using Gorilla Glue as always. I love their products. I did try to avoid doing the herringbone pattern because that is the really popular pattern that I see when other people use this method and I always try to make my stuff a little bit different from other people's. But no matter how I laid these, how I tried to make them different, I played with it for a little bit off camera and it just still ended up kind of looking like herringbone. So each drawer is unique. The patterns are slightly different because I was trying to think of ways to make my stuff unique like I normally do. 
So you will see an intentional difference in the two drawer fronts. The water and the wood glue will make these curdle and the sticks will bow if you don't clamp them quickly and put something heavy on top. So that was my next step. Up next, I'm wiping both pieces down and preparing them for paint. I'm using Cold Black by Fusion and I finally got a new 045 brush. If you've watched my videos before, you will know I've had the same brush for years, maybe about six years. I've done all my flips with just that same paint brush. So it was time for me to <laughs> kind of give that one a break and go ahead and splurge on a new one. So I did do that. My channel analytics definitely show me that you guys love a shorter video. So I'm trying to give you what you want to see. But I know some of you are here to learn, so I did not want to completely edit out all of this footage of me painting. My painting technique is very clear on other videos, so you can kind of scroll through the channel and find some that are not sped through. But basically, I am doing long, slow strokes all the way from side to side, and I'm keeping my strokes in all going in the same direction. Fusion is not a one coat paint in my opinion. So as you can see, that green color is still poking through. And if you are ever painting and you get this kind of coat on your first try, do not panic. Just go in with a second coat, especially if you're using Fusion paint. If you're wondering why I did not paint the area inside at the top, it is because it will be completely covered when I put it in the drawer. The paint companies have gone up on their prices, so I do not want to waste paint unnecessarily. Y'all, I am showing out with the jigsaw this video, and pretty soon I'm going to be an expert. You just watch. Y'all have watched me fail so much with these power tools, but I'm getting better. Anyway, I used this jigsaw, and I went ahead and cut off all of the excess from the popsicle sticks. Here's how this looked once everything was all sawed and my edges are not perfect but that is okay because I will show you how I will sort those out later. However right now I'm going to be going in with this wood filler and I started to try to use this scraper and do it cute but then I was like to hell with that. I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger and push putty into each one of the individual cracks. If you plan to go back and Watch the other video that I referenced where I use popsicle sticks. I did not do this step and in the end I wish that I would have. So you can go back and see how it looks with the wood filler versus if you don't have it. This is how both drawers looked once I was done with the wood filler step. I did do a second coat of paint on the body portion of the nightstand. And so here I'm using my Wise Owl Furniture Style as wax to go ahead and top coat the paint. Waxing is by far the easiest top coat and all you do is rub this on, wait a few minutes and buff off the excess. Now I'm going back in with my sander just to clean up those rough looking edges. This is not the appropriate way to use a sander but I am using my sander this way and as you can see it turned out pretty nice. I did have to reattach that one piece that you can see that fell off while I was sanding. Up next, I'm going in with some water and some fusion paint in the color Cathedral Taupe. You can see how runny this is. I'm just going to be making a paint wash. I have a couple areas where the wood filler is kind of showing through. And so I just wanted to kind of use this paint to camouflage those areas. But I did not want to cover up all of my pattern nor all of my wood grain. So I am just wiping a lot of the paint back. Next, I'm going in with some black paint and I'm just going to clean up the drawer edges. Now I am reattaching the handles and without further ado, here is the finished look of these nightstands. Leave me a comment and let me know if you prefer them green or if you prefer this look. I know that some of you may be too shy to leave a comment and that's okay. You can still engage with me. You can hit the thumbs up button if you like this look better or thumbs down if you prefer the green nightstands. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying my videos and you have not done so already. Thank you so much for watching. If you have the time, please select another one of my videos to watch from the choices on your screen or in the description box below. I will see you all in my next flip.